Polling begins in Chhattisgarh for the second and final phase. Tight security arrangements made for smooth polling in 72 constituencies, which will seal the fate of 843 candidates. Campaigning gears up in Rajasthan, star campaigners of both the BJP and the Congress will address election rallies across the state today. The group of ministers on Telangana completes its consultation process. The group of ministers likely to meet on the 21st of November and to send the report to cabinet by month end, the centre to introduce the bill in the winter session of the parliament. Supreme Court agrees to hear a PIL challenging commutation of death sentence of five convicts who were sentenced to undergo capital punishment in separate cases, seeks response of Home Ministry and Centre on the matter. Former Army Chief V.K. Singh asks for an unconditional apology to Supreme Court for making remarks on its order on age row. The Apex Court had, on the 1st of October, issued notice to Singh, taking Sumo to cognizance of his remarks against its order. A special CBI court in Hyderabad convicts extradited gangster Abu Salim in a 2001 fake passport case. The quantum of punishment will be pronounced on 28th November. Local court of Jodhpur likely to pronounce its reserved order on self-styled guardman Asaram's bail application in the sexual assault case lodged against him. Ninety-sixth birth anniversary of first woman Prime Minister of India Indira Gandhi being observed today. The day is observed as National Integration Day. NASA launches Maven spacecraft to study Mars atmosphere. Spacecraft Mars to study the red planet's atmosphere for clues as to why Earth's neighbor lost its warmth and water over time. Nepal is all set to hold constituent assembly polls today. It will be the second such attempt in five years after the first one failed to agree on three provisions for a new constitution. In Bangladesh, an all-party interim government installed to oversee the upcoming general elections. Eight new ministers sworn in under the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Pakistan Supreme Court begins the process of forming a special court to try former dictator Parvez Musharraf. Musharraf to be tried on charges of high treason for imposing emergency in 2007. At least 10 people killed in northeast Pakistan. Authorities order strict action against anyone propagating religious sectarianism through social media or mobile phones. Two volcanoes erupt in Indonesia, prompting warnings for flights and evacuation preparations. The evacuation process in the region is in full swing. In France, a gunman opens fire at the offices of the newspaper Liberation and at the Societe General Bank. One person injured seriously in the shootout. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says he has no specific expectations about Iran talks and has great respect for Israel's concerns. Syria's most prominent rebel, Abdul Qadir Saleh, dies of wounds. The rebel group with an estimated 10,000 fighters is particularly strong in Aleppo province. Vishwanathan Anand draws seventh game versus Magnus Carlsen in World Chess Championship. Carlsen remains two points ahead in the 12-match series.
In cricket, West Indies off spinner Samuels and Shillingford suspected illegal bowling actions during Mumbai Test. Bowling actions of these players will now be scrutinized further. The 33rd edition of the India International Trade Fair will be open for general public from today.